That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, 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 wait. What's up, guys? Welcome to a brand new video. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Ghost cereal, 18 grams of protein. Delicious. These are the new Reese Poofs. If you don't know what Reese Poofs are, you haven't been watching the videos for a while. Um, we are watching David and Julia's dogs for like a week. We have Rolo right here, who is so obsessed with the ball. I, I'm, I'm telling you, this dog would jump into like a, like a pit of molten lava to get this ball. And then while all of his limbs are being melted off from the lava, he would still be like trying to get to the ball. <laughs> then we have Bo over here just licking his wiener. He is uh, like the old man of the group. Very uh, wise, kind of looks like a little mini cow. Hey man. Hey. And then, of course, we have Mr. Dude, which is taking, bro, 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 get, get back, buddy. Uh, we have some new medication for Dude. It's called Apoquil. Apoquil. Can you sit for me? Sit. Sit. There you go. He's usually good about taking pills, but this is like a literal. He's good at taking tablets, like his heart guard. But this one, kind of have to open his, come on, I know, I know. Come on, open a mouth. Hold on. Put it down there. I know. Close it. Rub his throat. There you go. You swallow it. Yes, you did, good boy. It's for his allergies. It's for your allergies so you don't gnaw your paws. Yeah, it's a good boy. It's a good boy. Then, of course, we have Mrs. Tay Tay Banks. Hi. The future Mrs. Tuning. Tune dog. <laughs> she, wants, she needs coffee. You want to take the big Jeep? Me. I said you can't. I, you, you said no. You can't take the big jeep for just to get coffee. You can take the big jeep when you. Don't Not by yourself. So, we'll take the big jeep together. You can drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt when I every time I can drive the big jeep. Just getting in my Barbie mobile. You know, last time when I was talking about the battery being dead, everyone was like, "Max, get a battery tender," and I was like, "Tender? I just met her. I have one. I just never use it." So this bad boy has been plugged in for the past couple days. What this does is it charges your battery, but it doesn't overcharge it. It like call it's trickle charging. I think it's like when you, it's like when you have to pee just a little bit, like a trickle. You know, I don't know. Now you hear a lot of stories about guys not letting maybe someone drive their Lamborghini or their old, you know, restored Mustang or something. But this Jeep is completely different. Like those, any random person can drive, no problem. This is a, a work of art and a beast. Like, listen to this thing fire up. Go ahead. What the fuck? Put a brick. The fucking trickle charger didn't. You mother stupid fucking Jeep. I think I, th I think I actually killed the battery. I think I let the battery, even though it's a new battery, I think I let it die too much, and I think I killed the battery. Now I gotta buy a new battery. I, more money. Pause. <sighs> Turn it on. because each color means like a different thing and like green is like weird blue is I think like ugly pink is cute guys I got a pink straw I think it was because of the Jeep and the drone and house music but that's it <laughs> everyone's sitting right now with a Dutch Bros coffee with a blue straw going what the uh, I've never had Dutch Bros before I'm just not a fan of coffee in general that's why you never see me drinking it this the hot bean water which is interesting because my dad owned a bunch of coffee shops. My brother and I grew up working in coffee shops. The problem I have is like, I hate how the, I hate how the coffee taste just like lingers in your mouth afterwards. Like when I drink an energy drink, it's like, ah, oh, it's so good, and then it goes away. Right now I'm like, bean water. I don't get, and I think that's why my teeth look so white. Ching! Because no coffee. Now this right here, 
Ah, it's more like it. Okay, you asked for it, you're gonna get it. The garage transformation. Now it is a little spooky in here because it's very easy when you own a garage to let it get out of hand and uh, it definitely has gotten out of hand. But with a little bit of elbow grease, a positive attitude and some M&M on the speakers, we are gonna completely make this garage go from crap to less crap. time I come into the garage, I can see Mr. Dude. Um, I think overall I'm pretty happy with how the uh, the garage cleaning turned out. We're not 100% done because I ran out of space in the garbage can, so I still need uh, to, to clean up some more. But I think for the first run, this is pretty good. It's gonna take me a while to organize all my tools and figure out what new uh, fancy things I need to order because like it is just chaos in here. I don't even have half the stuff. This is the problem. When you get a bunch of tools, you start doing this and I want to have everything set up. I want to have all my sockets and my ratchets and my power tools. And I, that's another project for another day. And then part of me, when I was cleaning this, I was like, should I like redo this epoxy on the floor? Because there's a couple places where it's like chipped and it kind of looks like doo doo caca. And when I chose this epoxy floor, I think I I, I apparently didn't choose a version that comes with like grip on it because if, if water gets on this, like when you pull in after it rains, it's a death trap. Like my mom, my beautiful mother literally fell, which is super scary, but like there was water and she slipped and fell on this damn thing. Do, do, we, do we spend the money to redo this or do I just do it at the next house and say, mom, let me carry you into the, into the, into the home. I, I don't know, but uh, I need to go to the gym soon, but I'm really hungry. I don't have time to go to the grocery store and stuff. What's that? You, you think I should just eat a factor meal? <laughs> That's a great idea, guys, because actually they're the sponsor of today's video. Now, I know you guys are thinking, Max, factor, you just met her. No, guys, factor is an amazing company that delivers fresh, never frozen meals directly to your door. And these bad boys are chef curated and dietitian approved, and they're ready in the microwave or the oven in just about two minutes. Now, you guys know that I live a crazy, hectic life. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm grinding 24 seven. I don't have time to get in the car, drive to the grocery store, stand in line for what, 17 hours sometimes, drive all the way back, realize I forgot something, cook it all up, clean all the dishes. No, no, no. With Factor, there's no prep, there's no mess, no cleanup. It's the, it's, it's, it's the best. And you know what's the great thing about Factor? There's so many options for everyone. They have keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, vegan and veggies op veggie options. And I'm telling you, every single time, it is scrum deliumptious. Today we got a honey mustard chicken, get a little potato in there. Oh! Mm! So if you guys are interested, just head to factor75.com or click that first link down in the description and use promo code MAX50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and you're gonna get 20% off your next box. Again, head to factor75.com, use promo code MAX50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and you're gonna get 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. Now let's get back to the vlog. You start without me, dude? I'm gonna mic you up too. Should I get like two mics here? We haven't worked out in a while. Like together or just in general? Yeah, together. Yeah. yeah you, want, you want 25? I feel like this would be fine. 
Ah. My, 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 my doctor said not to lift over 20 pounds, but but it's just, I just gotta take my core out of it. I'm not responsible, bro. But like, my anything. core's not in it. I, I mean, I'll, I'll like. I mean, let me, I'll I, like. I feel like my hernia is going, <laughs> <laughs> you dumbass. So, wait, wait, how am I gonna spot you? I can't even lift it. <laughs> What do you think would be worse? My hernia popping trying to lift the weight off your chest or the weight falling on your chest? <laughs> Christian, this is the first time I have ever in my life seen you rock it. Are these hype shoes? What, what are they? Are those Travis Scott's? These are these Travis are, Scott's. These are fucking Travis. Cat they are. Yeah, I'm converting, bro. How much pay for those? Ah, uh, 14, 15. Hundred dollars? Is that, that's about. What? Had to cut that workout a little short because I have to go get a haircut and bad news, my hairstylist is going away for a month. So I'm cutting your hair. No, I, she was like, oh, you can just use one of the other stylists. I'm like, I, I feel like once you have a haircut person, haircut person, haircut person, you, 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 I'm like, I'll just wait four weeks. So uh, just like my disgusting beard, uh, my hair is about to get pretty gross. Or maybe I'll go to someone. I don't know. I'm straight. No, no. I. Maybe, no, no, I'm not, I'm not. All right, how do I look? I had her shave off the, uh, the dirt on my face. Pretty nice. Four weeks until we can get another haircut. Uh, I had to come by the warehouse to pick up some socks because I needed some new ones and uh, I have a bunch of the, the best socks ever, the Ever Forward socks that you can't get anymore. By the way, um, thank you to everyone who snagged up a backpack. We sold out of all 950 of them that we had available in the first like uh, 72 hours, which is crazy and I can't wait for you all to experience it. The final piece of Ever Forward history is gonna be in your hands very soon. I manually filled them so if you ordered one, you didn't get a shipping confirmation. It's because no one got a shipping confirmation. It's because I screwed up on how I was doing it. But they're all out. They're all on the way. So thank you guys. Let me get my socks and uh, get out of here. Actually, one second. It wouldn't be a max tuning video if it, I didn't have some long rambling clip. Uh, I got a, a, a bag of the bulk product of the updated Rainbow. This is a new production run. Um, if you did, let me give you the cliff notes. If you didn't know, we switched manufacturers for sour strips. I've talked about this. Basically, the reasoning was I had like two options. I, ha I had either stay at the current old manufacturer and cap our growth and limit our ability to create new products, new flavors, and basically just be fine with there being like this glass ceiling because the manufacturer couldn't keep up, or take a big leap, take a big risk, go to a larger manufacturer, reformulate, and you know come out with the updated product. And in my head, it was gonna go so smooth. It was like a two year project that I planned on. And I was like, okay, we're gonna you know stock up the old stuff and then bring in the new and then I'll slowly deplete and then I'll roll out the new product and it'll be flawless, it'll be perfect. And, it, and it's, it's, I don't know why I thought it was gonna go just swimmingly because you know, not only did the timing of everything completely backfire on me and I it just ended up having to spend a whole bunch of money. Then the manufacturer messed up our uh, our rainbow which is our most popular flavor they made the consistency a little too tough so it was a little tougher to chew even though fun fact i actually like tougher candy because then i can chew it longer but anyway um and they made it not the sour level or the flavor intensity that i approved previously of course that happened to me of course it didn't go smooth but this new production line is softer so much more sour so much more flavor it is a night and day god damn it's good a night and day difference yeah i can't that's fucking sour and i can't wait for you to try it oh i'm choking a little bit um when the new party packs come out in target those will have all the brand new product and then it'll start like flowing out you'll you'll know and the, the, the point i like try to get to is when i tell you guys these kind of back-end problems is because like I'm just figuring this shit out every single day, right? I've said this a million times. I don't know if you guys think I'm trying to like flex on you when I say I don't have any partners. I don't have any business associates tell me what to do. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just, I'm literally every day with this business. I'm like, I think this is the right decision. And then, you know, a time goes by and you're like, yes, it was. Or no, it wasn't, Max, you're screwed up, right? And uh, switching this manufacturer was a, a big decision. 
that I just felt was the best choice for the future of the brand. And overall, it's been a great, you know, great success. A lot of people are having great feedback on the, the updated flavors. Obviously, with the, the rainbow, we have a little issue and we're actually increasing the sour across everything. So, you know, there's some little kinks to, 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 to fix, to, to work out. But at the end of the day, this is going to be a huge growth opportunity for the business and it just had to happen like it, it really did have to happen and i know changing something that people have been used to for like four years is like a, what the, what are you sure max but i think i'll look i think that i'll look back and go you believed in yourself max and you did the damn thing and uh you know with everforward shutting down and me just focusing on sour strips i just like a lot of times i come in this warehouse and i'm just like what in the world like if you would have said 11 years ago, hey Max, uh, when you start this little YouTube thing, you know, I know you're flexing in your bedroom, but one day you're gonna start uh, a company around something that you love so much, sour candy, and in less than five years, you are gonna sell more than $50 million of fucking candy, I would be like, you're out of your mind. Now, I, I, that's really cool. I, by the way, I, I don't have $50 million. <laughs> I have nowhere even close to $50 million. That would be cool though, but it's a uh, huge milestone for the company. And uh, I just, I have such, like if there's one thing that I hope that you understand out of me like showing you so much of Sour Strips is that like this is something that I'm passionate about. And I don't know if you can be super passionate about candy, but, 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 I, but I am. Like I really, really am. And ever since I started Sour Strips, there has been copycats coming out of the the woodwork left and right either just knocking us off or just literally taking what we're doing and replicate but you know what those people don't you know what you know why i'm not i'm not stressed about them i mean i do send my share fare of cease and desist when people blatantly try to copy me um but i know that they don't have the passion i know that they don't have the passion that your boy does and if anyone is going to succeed at taking a sour candy idea putting it out in the world and taking it to the moon it is Skinny leg, hernia having, golden doodle loving, deadlift bra, tune dog. And we're witnessing it. And I can't wait for you all to see the journey. Oh, that's good. You know, if there was like a deep underlying point of what I was saying back there, um, it's just that like, don't think that everything is gonna go perfect when you're starting something or even when you you get in and you're on your high horse and you're like everything's going so great because sometimes you're gonna get knocked down but the ones that will succeed are the people that get back up again I should put that on a t-shirt I'm so motivational baby all right mom and dad are heading out to somewhere that you will net just think of something in your head that we're going to do that have never done this channel before. And I've done a lot. Think of it, think of it. Th what are you doing? You giving it away? The what could it be? Dang it. <laughs> oh my God, yay. I got, I got 10 Look at that. Take a picture. Hey, 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 crazy people. Go, go, hey. It's literally chaos in here. Uh, bingo was fun yet disappointing. Uh, played like six games. It was for a fundraiser for uh, a school. Um, Scholarship. So we raised money, but we didn't win anything. Didn't win any bingo. Next I don't like games that are strictly luck. Actually, I play a lot of games that are strictly luck. I don't know. I'm just, I'm pissed that I've, that was like my first real bingo experience. You almost won multiple times. Yeah, well, almost getting second place is not very cool. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I hope you enjoyed it. We, uh, we are going to, it's having, having multiple dogs is a lot. Are you rethinking Dolly? No, we're definitely gonna get the second one. <laughs> definitely gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Uh, I did a podcast with David and Joe that'll be up tomorrow on Monday. Go check it out. Don't be sour. 
See you in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Smash thumbs up button and eat more sour strips. And two dogs out. Two dogs out. Ever forward. Wait, should we still say ever forward? Even though yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's on. Ever forward. Ever forward.